This week we have taken a look at one of the traditions of the church, and that is communion. And in communion, this is how we handle communion as a church. We're not saying that this is how you should do it. We're not saying that you should change how you're doing things. This is just what we have chosen to do. We have communion weekly, as we have talked about earlier in this week, and we actually put something within our bulletin. And what is in our bulletin says, as believers and followers of Christ, we come together each week to remember the sacrifice that Jesus made with his body, the bread and his blood, the juice. When we take communion, we are recognizing that Jesus took upon himself our sins and he has freed us from death. Any believer who wishes to take communion and understands that need to examine themselves and what Jesus has done for them is welcome to participate by taking the bread and juice together as a church body. We then read from Luke chapter 22, starting in verse 19, which we know as the Last Supper. The Last Supper that we used this week by showing the picture, the Last Supper that we talked about as we came together for this time of communion. We read the scripture together because it's Jesus' words asking us to do this in remembrance of Him. And that is what communion means to us, and we hope that it has the same meaning to you. We'll see you next week.